there is an increasing awareness uh, in the scientific community about the importance of uh, complexity. A complex system is uh, much more than the simple sum of its composing elements. And this is because all these elements are interacting. The typical example is flocks of starlings. Uh, the way in which a starling flies is very different if it is alone or he is inside the flock. So we performed the first optical simulation of a complex and disordered system. And using this approach, we have been able to extremely uh, uh, speed up the computation. The experiment is like that. We have a laser in a large beam, and then this beam is shown on the DMD, and then the DMD divides it exactly in a, a thousand or tens of thousands or even million of individual light ray controlled by our computer. So we have these light ray then are traveling in the system so that measuring intensity uh, at the back side of our uh, disordered medium is exactly as equivalent like me measuring uh, or retrieving or calculating uh, the energy of a, a spin glass system on a digital computer. Spin glasses is the easiest tool to find a way in order to predict how these the systems behave. It was really the work from Giorgio Parisi in 79 which delivered a spin glass to the scientific community and as a tool which is usable to make prediction about disorder complex system. So without that contribution, probably spin glasses would not be under the attention of so many physicists. So this is the heart of the work in the sense that this is uh, where we get the optical, what is called optical supremacy. So this is extremely much faster than the, the digital computation. And what we demonstrated is not only a way to simulate a spin glass system. So this is what we demonstrated is it's also a, a protocol, a method uh, which can be exploited and exported to different uh, kind of problems.